The events of the last six to seven hours, I am fairly certain, have kept the vast majority of my audience awake far beyond their normal bedtimes. It is now about a quarter till one in the morning, Sunday, July 14th. As many of you are probably already aware of what happened at the Trump rally in a very little town called Butler, Pennsylvania, just north of Pittsburgh. Now, there's still a lot of information to be gleaned and to be released. What we know right now is that it was a local 20-year-old Butler resident that was the culprit on a building 140 yards away from where the president was speaking, got off half a dozen rounds or so. Some people were hurt. One person lost their life, but the president himself escaped any major harm. It does look like he got grazed, but there is some information now that I think a lot of people are missing. You would have had to have been doing your homework to be able to put these puzzle pieces together. When you say a 20-year-old Pennsylvania man, a lot of people stop thinking right there. When President Trump took office back in 2016, this individual would have only been 12 years old. Only 12 years old. But there's something else very strange about this little town, Butler, Pennsylvania. And it's kind of related to a video I did about a month ago. I wouldn't have even probably recognized the name had I not been doing some research. Just for reference, here's Pittsburgh. Here's Butler. We'll zoom out here a little bit. Western Pennsylvania. Little tiny town. The only reason I remember this is because of a place called Templeton, Pennsylvania. Some of you might remember. It was some time ago. Let's see if I can get the date here. It was about a month ago. May 29, 2024. I did a video talking about this uh, thing going on across the country called the Tactical Games. And how it was very strange that almost all of these locations, Sierra Vista, um, in Arizona, is right outside the front gate of the Army Intelligence Training Headquarters. Virtually all of them are right outside of military bases. Every single one of them, except for one, which I thought was very, very strange. May 25 and 26, these tactical games were... A lot of, um, oh, I don't know what you call them. They're kind of athlete uh, gunner types. They work out really hard, cross-train, cross-fit, um, get in just insane shape, but they also train with ballistic weapons. And these games, they're kind of like the Olympics, basically are a combination of physical strength skills, endurance skills, and proficiency with AR-style weapons. One of those places was a place called Templeton, Pennsylvania, which is only a hop, skip, and a jump from where this happened. Here's Butler, right here, the little tiny town of Butler. And out here in the middle of Pennsylvania, where there's not even really a highway, is this Templeton location where they had this, just back in May, huge conglomeration of people from all over the country who were very, very proficient in the tactical use of AR weaponry. Dozens and dozens and dozens. And now this happens only a matter of, what, five weeks later? And I mean, when you look at it on the map here, it doesn't seem like it's close. Let me zoom out. Templeton and Butler, if you tried to look at it from this, this distance... The names would overlap, how close this is. But there's something else very, very strange about this. When I was in the military, it was before there were such things as these laser optics. I mean, I'm sure probably somebody had them, but when you qualified in the military, you had to qualify with iron sights. Now, the reason that's important is because, I'm sure a lot of you have seen this graphic, the shooter was only a hundred and what they're saying, 130 to 140 yards away from Trump for that type of a weapon. That's to use a golfing analogy, a putt. 
it's one of the easiest shots to make in the world with iron sights. See, when you have to qualify in the military, they make you engage targets, pop-up targets, out to 300 meters. This was one of the closer targets. In fact, there's there's a 50 there's a 50 meter target if I remember correctly, and then there's a 100 meter target as the next one out. It's not the closest target, but it's the next closest target, and you have to be able to hit it using iron sights. But there's something even stranger about this. He was elevated, which makes it a hundred times easier. Looking down at your targets from a standing position, especially supported on a roof, how he missed, I don't know. How many of you saw the connection, though? How many of you saw the connection to the Patriot when the Mel Gibson's character's son is taken prisoner and he knows that he's going to be hanged? He grabs a bunch of weapons and he chases down the, the convoy that has his sons, his son, and he brings his other two sons with him. And he gets all of the weapons all loaded and he, he's going to go down and he's going to engage them up close. But these two boys, these two young boys, have been taught to hunt. And one of the things that he taught his sons was aim small, miss small. Now, what that means is that you aim center mass on whatever you're shooting, you don't try for a headshot. You don't try for a headshot. So it tells me a little bit about the shooter was likely not military trained at all. And where he would have gotten this type of a weapon or the training to use this kind of a weapon and to get that many rounds off that quick is a bit of a quiz to me right now because there would be no reason in the world to try to get the headshot. No, especially when you had him at lobby. You say, well, what about the, the vest? He had him in profile. He had him from the side. Let's look at this picture again real quick. See if I can find it. Trump was looking from, if you look at this dot, he was looking out this way, out to the left of the screen. So the shooter being up here was looking down at his profile. He had a profile shot of center mass. The Even if Trump was wearing a flag vest, which it didn't look like he was, you would have been shooting at the sight of it. And anybody who's worn a flak vest knows that the protection on the sides is nil compared to the front. You would you'd have still aimed center mass. And he went for a headshot when he had multiple shots. Aim small, miss small. And he did. Now there's, you know, speculation about, you know, a lot of things I'm sure many people have forgotten. Now that, now that it's personal, now that it's personal, who remembers Parkland? You see, the Parkland shooting in Florida was hop, skip, and a jump from Mar-a-Lago. And at that time, that kind of spooked Mr. Trump back in 2017. Now that it's personal, I think what you're going to see is the Democrat desire to grab guns start to bleed out a little bit and come to the surface especially with his kids gotta remember something these people don't like you trump supporter they don't like you you are the unwashed mass you are the hoi polloi you are, you are the the garbage the trash people and you're useful as long as you vote and as long as you send your money but now you just came within a hair's breadth of actually harming one of the uh, ruling class. They can't have that. They can't have that. How many of you watched the series Vikings? Think Sons of Ragnar. Those of you who haven't watched it, and it'll make sense to you. Sons of Ragnar. Mark my word. I didn't even picture Baron Trump here. Imagine what they're thinking right now. Grown up in privilege. Grown up wanting for nothing. High rise to high rise to high rise. Looking down on all the little ants, all the little peons, you and me. But now you've somebody made it personal. And they're not going to distinguish. They're not going to distinguish. 
one from another. They're going to take all your guns away because they don't know. Listen to the reporting. Listen to the reporting. They're saying, gosh, we don't know anything about this guy. We're having to do biometrics to find out who he was. We had no way of stopping. We had no way of knowing. No reports of any kind of whatsoever. When you hear that, when you hear that kind of reporting, you know what that that says? We can't stop it. We can't, we can't we can't identify the threats. They could come out of nowhere. So what do we do? How do we stop that? Well, we start taking the guns away. And very strangely, very strangely, Mountain Home, Texas, Holt, Florida, Templeton, PA, Maxton, North, look them up. Look all these places. They are taking notes. The military is taking notes. And the vast majority of these tactical games folks are almost all Trump supporters. Virtually every one of them. They're taking notes. They're taking pictures. They're knowing who is who. I don't think it was a coincidence. Let me show you this again. How close these two places are to where this, this tactical games, you know, regional event took place. And where this happened with, with Trump. See this, this road out here that comes out of Pittsburgh that just kind of peters off into nowhere and just ends at this place called Kittening? Well, Kittening Templeton was one of their regional events right here. Butler's right here. I do not think this is a coincidence. 20-year-old kid? 20-year-old kid with an optic. 20-year-old kid with an optic from 130 yards? It's like a, a six-foot putt. It's a six-foot putt you don't miss with multiple shots. You climb down into a, a cement foxhole like they have in basic combat training, at least in the Army, and you even have supported and using iron sights. You're not expected to miss any of the 100-meter targets. And that's just the average Army soldier just to get out of basic training. Even the guys that are wearing dresses, they made it out of basic training. They hit the 100 target. We're not talking about some magical Marine Corps shot where you're you know putting round after round after round dead center from 300 meters away we're talking knocking down a pop-up target at a hundred that's easy that's e even the worst guys even the guys that don't make it through BRM usually hit the hundreds they have a problem out at 2 250 they probably don't hit any of the 300s but they knock down the 50s and the hundreds all day long that's not a hard shot and the pop-up targets aren't even as big as Donald Trump. This just, you know, you know, it's, uh, I know what they're going to do. I know what they're going to do. And make no mistake, this guy was elevated too. This guy was elevated. You, you could be 12 years old. I bet I could give it 12 years. Well, I probably shouldn't say that. I probably shouldn't say that, but it would be very, 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 very easy to teach somebody to hit a 100-meter target. Aim small, miss small. I'll leave it there. You know, people quoted this over and over and over again for the last 20 years. You see, they, they say the blood of tyrants, and they misquote it. It's the blood of patriots and tyrants. That's what Thomas Jefferson said. But just saying, I'll leave that there. God bless. Pray for the Trump family. Pray for Mr. Trump. Pray for our country. Pray for each other. Pray for me. I'll pray for you. Lift each other up. Like, share, subscribe. See you guys next time.